Welcome back to Where Gogsy Goes, and if you're new here, we recently bought a 31 year old caravan and we are now renovating it. On the previous video you will have seen that we used DC Fix or Fablon, whichever word you want to use, to renovate the ceiling of the caravan. And we think it works quite well. If you look at the caravan when we first bought it, it was old, manky, and it definitely needed a revamp throughout the entire caravan. We ripped out the old kitchen and added a new one. And we're going to keep this boho theme throughout the entire caravan project. The front portion of the inside has been painted white and the outside has also been painted white with an addition of black on the bottom third of the caravan. We're now towards the back end of winter and luckily we've had a dry weekend where we can focus on some of the big jobs on the outside of the caravan. Today's job is a rather crazy one and it's not one of my making, it's my wife, Amy. And we're going to add a paper mache covered in yacht varnish to the front of the caravan. Bear with me for a second and I'll explain why. We've had some real problems with damp at the front of the caravan. We've treated the wood to be resistant to rot and it's also been hardened alongside repairing any sources of leaks. We spent well over a month fault finding the issues of the leaks, taking our time as we didn't want to get too far into the project and have to go back and rip out walls to fix any real issues. As you can see in this clip, we applied some clear silicon over areas that we thought the leaks were coming through. We applied a clear silicon to begin with, but soon realized that we could not paint over the top of it. So we applied a white silicon over the top of that, only to find that it's been flaking off over the winter period, even though we've had a cover over the caravan. This could either be because we applied a white silicon over a clear silicon and it's just not adhered to the caravan in the way that we would like, or the weather and the cold temperatures during winter has affected the curing of the silicon onto the caravan. Either way, something needs to happen because we're still getting a small leak in the same affected areas that you saw in the clips earlier on. And now enter my wife's crazy, but probably effective idea. The plan is to apply paper mache to the front of the caravan, including the areas in which the leaks are coming through. After that has dried, we will apply the yacht varnish to the paper mache. Why are we doing this? This has two effects that we want to achieve. The first one is aesthetics. This looks a bit crazy to begin with, but once it's finished, it's actually going to look pretty good. And the style is in keeping with our boho theme, which is what we want to capture both inside and outside of the caravan. The second reason is to create a full waterproof barrier on the front of the caravan. If you look at how this, this is positioned, it's on a slant and that metal bar underneath where all the paper is being applied, we believe that that is another area in which the water is getting through. The silicon hasn't worked. So a fully waterproof barrier over the top of that should work. But why are we using yacht varnish? This is simple. When you look at boats, they're in water all the time and they are covered with a seal of yacht varnish. Two reasons for that. A, it's waterproof and B, it has flexible properties so that when a boat is moving about from side to side in the water, the yacht varnish does not crack or break. And this is what we want for our caravan because it's going to be driving quite regularly throughout the year and we don't want any breaks within the outer coating that we're going to achieve. When Amy first proposed the idea to me, without explaining the science behind it, I thought, you crazy bugger, that ain't going to work. But once she explained all this to me, I realised actually this could probably work. We're so sick and tired of all the leaks in the front of the caravan. So being bold sometimes pays off. 
After all, this is a plus of 30 year old caravan. And if we start ripping the front panels or the outside of the caravan off, then we could create more problems than what we're trying to fix. So this paper mache covered in yacht varnish, jiggery jew, will probably work. Anyway, that's the plan. So we're gonna crack on and do it. As an added bonus, we're using the paper wrapping that we had for all of our Yule slash winter solstice gifts in December last year. And from that, we ripped it all up and popped it in a bag. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's something that we're trying to teach the boys. Speaking of boys, that's one of the most magical things that we've got with this project. The boys are learning as they're growing. Everything that we do, they see. And sometimes we let them join in, depending on what job it is. We want them to develop and grow into these fine young men. And to do that, they need to learn life skills. And part of this project is to teach them that life skills. And we're grateful to have them along this ride. Today, you'll have seen me pottering about on the inside of the caravan. What am I doing? I'm trying to get as much of the ceiling done as I can. And this is where we're at with it. Thanks for sticking with us. We'd like to hear your thoughts on the project so far and we're happy to have a conversation in the comments below. We also hope that some of you will have learnt something from this series so far. If you enjoyed this episode, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. No doubt there'll be more of my wife's crazy ideas that you'll all get to see. Thanks for watching. Peace.